Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this look which is a kind of really earthy khaki green olive mustard dirty gold kind of look. It's really hard to describe but basically I'm using some of the shades from the Morphe 35T palette which you would have seen in a previous video. I did a swatch and review video of this palette. This is a very fall appropriate look, especially teamed with this really dark vampy lip. So if you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep watching. So first up, I'm gonna be priming my skin using the YSL Matte Touch Oil Free Primer. And for today's base, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. And this is in the shade Medium Six. I ran out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz yesterday, so I'm using kind of like my kind of spare backup, which doesn't happen to be the Brow Wiz, but it's from Soap and Glory. After brushing through my brows with the spoolie ends, I go in with pencil end and start kind of drawing in my fake hairs. Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel and I'm using the shade Espresso. Okay, to prime the eyes today, I'm going to be using the Body Shop All-in-One Tinted Concealer and Primer and this is the Insta Blur Eye. It's almost like a, a wood, moussey sort of texture. I'm guessing it's kind of a silicone based primer because it's got that kind of a slip to it. Okay, then as per usual, I'm gonna be going in with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean, which is this kind of off-white matte shade. And I like to use a shade like this just to kind of set the primer. Although this one's not particularly tacky. I'm gonna start off with a transition shade, and the shade I'm gonna use is this one here. It's the second one in on the second row. I'm just gonna take that into the crease, not being neat just getting the colour down. Now I take a clean fluffy blending brush and just kind of blend that top edge out so that it looks kind of seamless and you don't really see exactly where that colour starts. Then I'm going to go in with second to last shade in the second row. It's got more of a kind of musty olive green undertone compared to the previous shade we just used. I'm gonna take this into the crease again, but I'm not gonna take it as high up as the transition shade. Right, then I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is a kind of, uh, olive stroke khaki metallic green shade so i'm taking that on a flat shader brush and i'm just kind of packing on the color but trying to stay under the crease then i'm going to take the same color but just kind of take it on the inside part of the eye i'm going to stay clear of the tear duct because i want to go in with a different shade so it looks something like this so the idea is that you will have this kind of empty space on your lid and then I'm going to go back in with the second shade that we used for the crease so this one here and just kind of softly blend out that top edge of the metallic green with the colours we've got in the crease and then I'm going to repeat on the upside taking that green on the outside third of the mobile part of the lid and then I'm going to just join the two shades together in the crease and then back in with that crease colour and I'm just going to blend out that top edge and because I want to deepen the crease and the outer part of the eyes a little bit more I'm going to go in with this bottom shade which is a, a kind of matte, neutral, mid to dark tone brown. Work it into the outer crease and just start building that colour up. And I'm also going to just join that colour to the very outer corner of the lash line. 
so you're creating a bit of a V shape or as we like to call it the outer V. Then I'm going back in with the brush that I used to apply the crease shade and no extra product on it. I'm just going to blend out that dark brown. Then back in with the clean fluffy blending brush and just smooth out that top edge. Okay, just repeat on the other side. And if you feel like you've lost some intensity in the eyeshadows, I always like to go back in and kind of redefine it and re-intensify any of that lost colour. And that's always the case when there's a lot of blending work. And then we're going to go in and fill in that blank space on the eyelids and I'm going to use this kind of mustardy tone, dirty gold shade. And you can see that gold tone just works really beautifully with that kind of metallic olive khaki green shade. And before I go in to do my little kitten flick, I'm going to give my lashes a little bit of a curl. And then I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner 24 Hours. Then I'm going to tightline my waterline with the Ivora Smoky Goddess Eye Pencil. And then I'm just going to coat my top lashes with the L'Oreal False Lash Architect 4 Dimensions Effect Fibers Waterproof Mascara. Right, I'm just going to take a face wipe and just clean up under the eye area. For concealer, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade 20. I'm just going to take this right in the inner part of the eye. And then to really brighten up the under eye area, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Light Warm. And then I'm going to go in and blend that all out. Then I'll go in straight away and set my under eye area using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm just going to gently tap that under the eye area just to set that in place. Then I'm just going to finish off my um, eye makeup under the bottom lash line. I'm basically going to mimic what I've done on the top eyelid. In the centre of the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with that gold, the very same colour that we applied in that blank space on the mobile part of the lid. On the outer and inner part of the bottom lash line, I'm going to use that kind of olive khaki metallic green shade. And as always, I like to really define the outer part of the bottom lash line. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil and I'm using the shade Demolition. And I'm going to take that on a flat detail brush and then work it on the outermost part of the bottom lash line. And when I've got most of the product there, I start kind of um, taking it towards the inner half. And of course going in with mascara for the bottom lashes. And for the inner corners, I'm going to go in with this slightly more lighter and brighter gold. Then for my brow bone, I'm going to be using um, Makeup Geek's Rapunzel. I'm just going to take that right under the arch of the brow. I think I might actually take a little bit of that on the inner corners as well just to really brighten up that center point. I'm just gonna take it right on the very middle of that inner corner. Yeah, this is definitely doing the trick. It's really brightening up the tear duct area. Then for lashes, I'm gonna be using Simply Fleur by Fleur de Force. <laughs> this is just the empty box, but these are what the lashes look like. coat my lashes with another coat of mascara just to kind of help buy my natural lashes with the false lashes then I'm going to move on to conceal the rest of the face and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier secret camouflage um, concealer and this is in the shade SC4 so it comes in a compact like this and you get a more kind of 
darker orangey shade and a more lighter yellow shade. And the idea is to kind of custom mix your own shade. Well, my skin doesn't stay the same colour the whole year round, so um, you know it's good to have a darker shade so that you can deepen it up when you've got a bit more of a tan going on. And then obviously just a lighter shade for when you're not so tanned. And I'm a little bit tanned at the moment, so I'm going to use a bit more of that orange than I normally use. The trick with this product is kind of work it up on the back of your hands just to warm up the product because it's quite a thick consistency. And then I like to go in and kind of conceal any blemishes. I use a combination of the brush and my fingers to kind of apply and then blend the concealer in. And this is some serious full coverage concealer. You can use a small brush like this to pinpoint conceal, or if you're concealing slightly larger areas, I like to go in with a brush like this. And this is the Real Techniques uh, shading brush. And then I just kind of take it wherever I want to conceal, and then use my fingers to just blend that concealer in seamlessly. highlight my face I'm just going to use a little bit of that Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, concealer in the shade like warm and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that in the centre of my forehead and using my damp beauty blender I'm just going to blend that in to set that all in place I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Balance powder in the shade 53 I'm going to contour my nose slightly and I'm going to just use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and I'm using the bronze shade which has got a bit of a grey undertone so I think it works well for contouring. I'm just kind of run it down the bridge of my nose. Then I like to take a fluffy brush like this and I just like to kind of brush it away at that line just to really soften it out and make it look natural. Okay, I'm going to go and contour my face and I'm going to use the same bronze shade. Just sucking in those cheeks. And then I like to take any excess product along my jawline just to define that a little and just hide that double chin. And to bronze up my skin I'm going to use something else and it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and this is in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. I really like the texture of this bronzer and the finish because it is literally really kind of smooth and you can't really see any powder residue. I'm going to go in with the highlight shade from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. I think it's high time I use something other than the Mecca Champagne Pop. Then for my blush, I'm going to be using a blush that I haven't used in the longest time and it's NARS Sin, which is more of a kind of plum berry toned blush. And as we are kind of approaching autumn or fall, as you Americans would call it, I'm going to definitely be rocking in this shade a lot more. Okay, before I go on to applying my lip colour, I'm going to be lining them with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in the shade, I think it's 10C, yeah, 10C. And then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Craft. And then of course I'm gonna set my makeup in place using the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray and this is the oil control version. And this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this fall inspired tutorial using the Morphe 35T palette. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new around these sides, then I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye.